What's going on gardeners? Today we are germinating seeds and we are doing it by using one of the simplest methods out there, the paper towel method. With this method we will be able to germinate our seeds fast and with high rates of success, even if you are doing it the first time. So follow me in this step by step guide where I prepare my seeds for germination and let's see if we'll have some sprouts in a week or so. For all of you that are new here, I'm Jan and welcome to my small garden quest where you can see my gardening journey and learn a lot about gardening. So before the weed sprouts in our gardens, let's dig into the main content. To germinate our seeds with the paper towel method, we'll need Ziploc bags. The more seeds we want to germinate, the larger the bag. A roll of paper towels. Scissors are optional. We need them to cut our paper towels, but we can always tear it by hand if we want to. Some tape. A spray with water. Regular tap water, it's okay. A large plate. Seed tags and something to write on them. And last but not least, we of course need all the seeds that we want to germinate. And because I'm about 7 weeks before our last first date, I'm starting my tomatoes, peppers and eggplants. We'll start by cutting the paper towel sheets to be twice as wide as the Ziploc bag is. You'll see in a minute why. Here we don't need to be exact, a close match is good enough. Next, let's take the plate, place a paper towel we just cut on it and wet the paper by spraying it with two or three sprays of water. We don't need to exaggerate here. The next step is very important and many of beginner gardeners are doing the mistake of not following it, so pay attention. After grabbing the seeds we want to germinate and the seed tags with the pencil, we need to immediately write on the seed tag what seeds will be in the back and the date we started the germination process. Last year I forgot to tag my seeds and it was a nightmare to keep tracking where all the pots were and what was in them. So listen to me, write down what seeds you are germinating. And now we need to open our first seed bag. Just a little bit, no need to destroy the packaging here, because in most cases we'll save some seeds for future growing seasons. Because yes, in the seed packet usually there are quite a few more seeds than we'll need. And now with the seed bag open, we need to spread the seeds evenly on the surface of the wet paper towel. Here we can spread just a few more seeds than we'll actually use because of the high success rate of this method. No more wasted seeds. Once the seeds are laying evenly on the paper towel, we need to fold it to the size of our Ziploc bag, grab the bag, spray once or twice in the bag and place the paper towel with seeds in it. The addition of water and the fact that the Ziploc bag is tightly sealed will assure a fast germination of your seeds and a greater success rate. Oh, and we mustn't forget to tape the seed tag on our Ziploc bag so you won't forget what's in it. And then we need to place it in a warm and dark place. The warmth is a major factor on how fast our seeds will germinate. But how do you know how warm it needs to be? Luckily for us there is a neat table with all the temperatures in the square foot gardening book. And if you don't have the book you can always place it at room temperature and look up the germination time on your seed packet. Usually there's something written on the back of it. Here, with this Soroxari paper, the seeds are germinating 15 to 20 days. Before we show you if the seeds have sprouted or not, I have quite a few more seeds that needs to be germinated. So dig that like button if you're like me and have quite a few seed packets that you will germinate and you'll find this job quite relaxing despite taking you ages. Bam! With the help of some editing magic, like in the cooking shows, I have few seeds that have been germinating in the paper towel bags for a few days now. So let's see how they did. Dang it, I lost two. Hope the rest is doing fine. If the paper towel won't go out of the Ziploc bag, just tear it. It's better to destroy the plastic bag than to lose your sprouts. What do you think? Here's another trick, if the paper towel is a little bit dry and is sticking to the sprouts, 
spray it with some water to soak it up and loosen the paper fibers. In that way you will easily get your sprouts out of the paper. And there you have it, nice healthy sprouts that you can plant in your pots. To see how I will do it and what tricks I will use, click on the video that pop on the screen or subscribe so you won't miss it next week when I will post it. Hope you found this video informative and if you did, please give it a like, it helps a lot. Happy gardening!